I did that, but I don't know if I'm doing another one. What's up everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shanice Ashley, back with another video. You guys, I've been dropping bangers after bangers. I've been trying to be consistent, I've been posting, and I've been doing my thing, y'all. Hopefully I can keep this up and be consistent and post and give y'all some content. You guys already know what I'm going to be talking about because you already read the title. But if y'all haven't, I am going to be transforming my Uggs from beat up Uggs to Uggs for New Year's. So I'm just saying. These are my Uggs right here. Y'all don't come for me if I ain't for y'all. But don't judge me. I use these as my rain boots. Yes, my rain boots. These are my Uggs. So anytime it rain, I don't buy rain boots. I just wear my Uggs. Any Uggs that I feel like they got a stain on there, grease stain, or if I was out one day and didn't know it was going to rain and it rained and got rain damage, I no longer wear them no more. I wear them as rain boots. So that's why you see them over here throwing them gang signs. Don't come for my boots, y'all. They don't a lean with a rock with it, but they minding their business at the same time. Also, um, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe. All my, all my consistent subscribers that have been here with me, I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. Once we reach it to our goal, I am going to be doing a giveaway. And yeah, we're going to keep pushing until we reach our goal. We're going into 2023. Hope everybody got what they wanted, what they needed, working on themselves, working on their career, their business. And I hope you guys, I know you guys will be successful. But these are the things that you're going to be needing. You're going to need your Uggs, of course. Duh. You're going to need your tools, which I have my tools and my scissors that I didn't have in the cup. You need your glue. I don't have my um, Gorilla Glue. I, I brought it, but I couldn't find them. And this was the first one that I found. they waterproof. they work. This is what we're going to do. You also need your jeans. I got my two pairs of jeans. And I have my third pair of jeans just in case if I need another pair of jeans. But I'm using my jeans, y'all, because for my big girls and my plus size girls, y'all already know the vibes. When the legs rub together and the jeans get light and they start ripping between the legs, it's time to get rid of them, sis. We cannot patch them up no more. We can't just keep gluing them. We can't sew them. They're going to keep ripping. It's time to give them up. So that's why I'm going to be cutting out my jeans. You also need your glue sticks, um, glue sticks of your choice. I prefer Gorilla glue sticks. Like I said, I couldn't find my stuff, so I'm just using regular glue sticks. And I'm also going to be sewing... The rest of the stuff that I feel like is not going to stick down is going to come up. I'm going to be sewing it. And another thing, you want to distress your jeans. I don't know if you want to distress them the night before, cut them up into little pieces, distress them, put them in a the washer. Once they're dry, they're already distressed. But as I'm doing right now, I'm doing it hands-on. I'm going to be cutting it with the kitchen knife. I don't know if I can have it up here. I do not want to be up here because I don't want nobody to see it or somebody said they can't see my video and... They started using a knife. So I will be doing that off of camera, but I am going to show you all bits and pieces of how I do it. I'm going to start with one boot, show you how the process come out. Then I'll show you all with the second boot. This is something that I put together that I wanted to have for New Year's. I've seen somebody on TikTok do it, so I also wanted to try it. So I'm going to try and see how it turns out. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, I am going to stuff my Uggs because as y'all know, it's flat. It's going to be hard to work on it when your boot is flat. So I grabbed the little towel. You see, this is a burnt mark from my iron. So I grab the towel and I will be stuffing it with my towel. We want our boot to be fluffed up because we want it to be right. Because if it's flat, we can't do it. So yes, we're stuffing our eyes. There we go, okay. See, we got a little cushion, a little cushion. And now what we're gonna start doing is cutting up pieces of our jeans. All right, I'm gonna use my scissors. My scissors are a little dull, y'all, so yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do the pieces yet. I am just winging it. This is my first time doing it. I am not a pro. Don't cover me. So yes, I'm just gonna cut it right here. Scissors sucks. Make sure y'all have some good scissors because my scissors said no. No, no, no.
Y'all make sure y'all have better scissors. So what I'm going to do is these little pieces right here. These are my two pieces I'm going to start with so I can show you and give you a little example. I'm going to distress these off the camera because I'm using a kitchen knife. And I don't know if I can use this on YouTube. I don't want nobody kids to see or feel like they can do it. And what I'm going to do is, where's my piece of wood? My piece of wood right here I'm going to be using. I'm going to put it up here so I can distress these and I'll be back when they're distressed. Okay, I am back on my two pieces that I distressed with my kitchen knife. These are the results right here. I didn't want to do it too deep and I didn't want to do too many holes because you got to think about it. Once you're putting it on your boots, you don't want too many holes in it where that you can see the Uggs. It's supposed to be denim, not just regular Uggs. It's supposed to be denim Uggs. So when you have holes in it, when you do make holes in it, all you have to do is overlap it and have a, a um, all you have to have is a denim under what? it. Bro, what are you talking about? You have to have is a denim piece under it where the hole is. So when you see the hole, you see the denim. You wouldn't be able to see a tan piece from the Uggs, if you understand what I'm saying. So this is what you do. When you put them on here, you put it on the side. Your measurement might not always be there, but you're going to put it to the side, right? Or you can put it to the top, whatever you prefer, however you do it. So you put it to the side like this. You cross it over. You measure it, cut it where you want to be. The extra pieces that you have to cut, you still can use those too. And glue them on any little spot or holes that you see. And as you glue these on, for example, say if you glue these on and hot glue it, then you put the other one over on top of it, and you put it like this as you cross it over. Then like the little pieces you have, you can use it in the front, you can use it on the top, whatever you prefer. So what I'm going to do is start adding my piece to it. This piece, I am going to add it down here. And I'm gonna have it to this side. So you see right here where I have the extra piece right here? I'm going to cut that. But once I glue this side down, then I'm gonna cut the extra excess. So now I'm going to get my glue. Oops. Which I didn't open yet. Y'all make sure you have the proper glue. Don't be like me. Because baby. I searched high and low for the glue and still can't find it. I was aggravated, but this would just have to do. And if I feel like it's going to lift up, I'm still going to give a test where that I could tug on and pull it and make sure it don't come off or walk in them and they don't move. If they do, then I'm going to sew it down. If they don't, then I don't have to sew it down. So hopefully we don't have to sew it down. If we do, I don't mind sewing. Okay, we got our glue situated. We got our hot glue gun situated. So what I want to do is I want to make sure it's secure. So I'm gonna add both glues to make sure it stays down and I don't want it to move. So I'm gonna have it like this, where that it don't move. So I'm going to glue this part with both of my glues. Once my hot glue gun act like it wanna come out. Oh, there we go. So my glue oh, okay, don't show off for the camera. Hot glue gun. Okay. My glue gun acting out. So what we're gonna do is add our piece Right here where we glued it at. Oop. I'm gonna do it right here. Make sure it's nice and stuck. And when you glue it, the glue is not always gonna be on every piece. So what you can do, you see how you got the glue dripping? Go through the little pieces that's left. You could do it with just a regular glue. You could do it with your hot glue gun and just stick it out. Make sure it's down there. You don't want to add extra piece of cloth up here if it's not already glued down. But I want to go in with my glue gun again. There we go. There we go. Give it a minute and a second to dry, but just rub your hand across it. We want to make sure that it's actually down there. And we don't want it to move. So once we get that side situated, I also want to run some glue across the boot. So when I cross it over, or if I put it in front, however I prefer, I want to do it like this. I want to cross it over. 
I'm gonna cross it over, so I'm gonna spray some spray some glue. I'm gonna spread some glue on top of here, and once I go, spray the, I can say spray. Once I spread the glue over here, I'm gonna lay it down. So we're gonna get our glue. Then my hot glue gun. I'm gonna put it across. We're gonna grab it tight like this. I'm gonna make sure it's sticking. Can I see that? That glue is hot. Then once I make it to this part, you're gonna have glue everywhere, y'all. Just be prepared. So once I make it to this part, I don't want this part hanging off. So this is the part I'm actually gonna cut. So I'm gonna glue along the line right here at the bottom. So once I glue this part down, I could cut off the excess. So what I'm gonna do is run the glue down here. Add another glue stick. I'm gonna put this down here. What tool do I wanna use right now? Nope, let me use this one right here. I'm trying to make it make sure it's down in the crease, y'all. That's what I'm doing right now. As y'all can see. I'm trying to make it, make sure it's down. Let's see that. This is the first piece and then I'm gonna cut off all this piece once this dries. And I'm gonna go in with my second piece. My second piece, I am going to, do I wanna do the top or start at the front? Hmm. I glue strong. So once they're dry, I'm gonna start adding my other pieces and I'll be back. So now this piece that I have right here, I am using it for the back. So this will be the back piece. And what I'm gonna do is have this to the back, but I'm also gonna cut out this little hole right here so you can see the logo on the back because it's gonna say UGG. So once I glue it up here, I'm going to cut my little piece out. Or should I cut it out? You know what? I'm going to cut it out now. And then I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is put this like this. Measure this. Okay. So we got this. So then I got the glue right here. So I'm going to cut out the piece. I'm trying to figure out, should I glue it so I can know? So let me do something real quick. I'm gonna put the glue up here first. So it stops right here. Send my glue up here. Get my hot glue before my hot glue dries. All right, now I'm about to put in my legs, y'all, between my legs to make it easier. I didn't want to put it too far at the bottom because when you walk, you don't want the pants to get dirty and look tacky. So as y'all can see, see. I didn't move that one down a little bit. I have to glue this one a little bit more. Oh, this one neither. Mm -hmm. 
All right, one thing I realized, you're not gonna get it on point, so you might have to go back in before the glue dries and fix that. So that's what I just had to do is go in there and fix it up. And I'm gonna hold it on the side. So this is how it looked from the back. This is the side, the other side. And I'm going to find the logo, which is right here. I'm gonna cut this little hole right here. Be the finest logo. Where you at? Right here. I can't find it. So no, this is gonna be up here. This is gonna be down here. Make sure y'all have good scissors, cause baby, these scissors ain't it. This is not it. All right, so the logo's right here. See the little window that I'm making? My scissors sucks. I'm gonna try these. There we go. Because this is going to be right here. This is going to be right here. Oh, oh, here we go. And we're gonna glue it like this, or that you can still see the Uggs. And I'm going to glue that, and I'll be back, you guys, because I gotta go give me some and some drink. So I'll be back. Y'all, I didn't go to get any and drink, but I am going to get it. But I just wanted to show y'all, this is what it looks like so far. I got two pieces up here. I did something, but... <laughs> I'll be back with the final results, you guys, because this is the process. Glue everywhere, cutting and arts and crafts all over my sweater. I'll be back. Y'all, as y'all can see, I am done. First of all, I didn't turn out how I thought it would turn out, but, you know, it's pretty decent. It's not the best, but there is still, there's, there, uh, it's still cute and I like them and I'm going to wear them because I like how they came out. They came out really nice. Mine is the glue that's at the bottom and the glue that's on my hands and my clothes and in my table. But y'all, yeah, overall, they came out pretty cute. I think they came out really cute. I think they came out. I am going to rock these bad boys, but let me tell y'all, I don't think I'm doing another one until New Year's Eve because baby, I am tired. When I say I'm tired, I am tired. And I only did one and it's 650. So I don't know if I'm gonna start the other one, but this is the final results of these. Y'all, I think they came out pretty damn cute. These are cute. And let me show y'all, I got my bag. Amazon dropped off my package. I thought I was gonna get it when I did my video, but let me show y'all my package. This is the bag that I got off of Amazon. I've seen a few people with it. You know how you scroll through Amazon and you go to the um, reviews? And a lot of people like the bag, so the bag was cute. The bag was this, that, and third, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let me, this is my first time opening. I took it out the box, so this is my first time opening. So, though mine is, the, mine is the glue on my hands, but this is the bag. And it gives you a little pouch. I guess to put your bag in after you're done using it. Oh, or look like a shopping bag. No, I'm not sponsored. And this is not sponsored. But this is the bag. So look at the bag. And then look at, yo. Look at the bag. Then look at the boots. Tell me that'll go together. And the crazy thing is, I didn't know if the bag would have been a light denim, a dark denim. In between, you know, Amazon, the pictures never look like how the item is when you get it. You'll get the item and the picture will show you light, but then it'll be dark. Or it'll be dark in the picture, then when you get it, it's too light. 
But y'all, tell me this ain't straight on. Let me, let me, let me, let me clear this table off. Tell, yo, tell me this don't go together. Tell me this doesn't match. I did that, but I don't know if I'm doing another one. If I do do the other one, then I'll do the other one. But if not, I'll wait till New Year's because I'm not doing it until later on in the day. That's if I even do something. But if I don't, I still got the outfit. Well, I don't have the outfit. I have the shoes and I have the bag. I have to figure out the outfit. But when I finish the net, when I finish the boot, I'm gonna figure out what outfit I'm gonna wear. Then I'm gonna show y'all all together. Then I'm gonna show y'all with my fit on. And yeah, your girl did that. It wasn't what I expected to be, but it came out pretty damn nice. For it to be my first time doing it, I'm gonna go back through it, see if I got any little pieces hanging. Like I told y'all, if I gotta sew some pieces down because I'm going to keep these boots like an everyday boot. And yeah, this is the boot. Yeah. So I'll be back. All right, y'all, I finally made it. I am a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop, but I'm gonna work harder. That's what um, that's what y'all said, right? I could have sworn I was on. You never saw. So I'm gonna finish the bottom and the top, y'all. This is how it looks. So this is my second shoe because I did the first one and now I'm almost done. Now I'm going to add my glue, which I have it all over my hand. So yeah. Oh, I forgot. Let me pause this TV. y'all i was gonna do this tomorrow but i'm like tomorrow new year's eve who want to be here doing this i want to make sure i clean up tonight straighten up cook what i gotta cook for tomorrow and go outside or to somebody else yeah my glue is acting crazy as soon as i made it to the end my glue want to act like this come on glue Yes, because I'm about to get in the shower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on with it. Come on, this girl is hot. If I could break my skin. Ah! Yo, who that was hot? Alright. This part I did not put enough on. Cause my glue is acting crappy. Y'all really like how they came out. So I said I do want to, like, you know, fix whatever I gotta fix so they could last long. Cause I feel like this can be like the boot to wear. Especially with spring coming up and everything. I think this is the boot like you can wear all the time. I was trying to figure out would it be a, all the, like an everyday boot. Yeah, this could be an everyday boot. I feel like I need to add another piece. All right. Add this piece. Don't add it up or down. I just need a little piece. I don't need the whole thing. Yep, here we go. Y'all and I love how it come out. So if y'all don't like it, it don't matter. I love it. And I just wanted to show y'all things y'all could do. And but I'm back, guys. That was my mom. But I am big. Big like I never live. And when y'all do this, make sure y'all got enough glue sticks. Because, baby, it's going to take a lot of glue sticks. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. It's going to take a lot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. I 
I got more trouble with my pride. Yes, that looks much better. You could go in there, critique it, like fix it up, or however you want to do it. Because you might go in, you see some parts that you don't like, you want to go back and fix it. That's what I just did because I didn't like a certain part, so I went back and fixed it. And because my jeans, I used the bottom pieces to it, so I only have these pieces that I'm going to add to the bottom part, the trimming of the boot. So I already put the top piece up here. I'm going to glue the little straps down. It's not like I'm going to be using them for anything, but I feel like it looked cute with it. So I didn't want to cut these off. So I add my glue and let that dry. And then I'm going to add the little pieces to the edges like this. So it's going to go like this. Oh, I'm at the... My son will be low. All right. I don't mind my son being low. He playing this game. Y'all, let me just tell y'all, this arts and craft DUI thing is a lot. Cause baby, I'm not. Oh. When I tell you, you see how they come out of my sweater into my nightgown? Because, baby. Okay, there we go. So now let's see how that's going to look. Okay, much better. Okay. So I'm going to add my glue first, then my hot glue. Regular glue, not regular glue, but glue first, and then I'm going to add hot glue on. Yo, I got glue all over my table, y'all. I am so upset. So don't be trying to do ice and cry. Hopefully I can get this off the table. If not, I'm going to be hurt. I think my hot glue gun tied of me. That's why it sounds like it's breaking down. All right, so we're gonna grab the strip. Stay still, don't move. Oh, come on, the glue is hot. Stop playing. Now I'm gonna measure this side. See how much of this I need. Oh, right there. Bam. Y'all, cause I'm ready to get in the shower. Oh, if y'all see my little kitchen back here, my little beat of beads, don't talk about me. Oh, I measured it all wrong, did I? Oh, no, I did it.
Oh, that thing is hot. <sighs> Long time in the making, bro. Do you see that? It look a little crazy right here, but once I put it all together with... Oh. Once I put it all together with the bag, baby. This is gonna be cute, y'all. This is gonna be so cute. Look at this. This could be super hot fire, but I'll be back once I put the outfit together so y'all can see the whole fit together. And yeah, let's bring in the New Year's with our, our DIY jean Uggs per. <laughs> so as y'all can see, I am getting ready. I am going to do my makeup. I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy. I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy. It's gonna be simple. And no, I'm not a makeup artist. This is how I do my makeup personally. Everybody does their makeup different to each his own. But this is how I do mine. So first we're gonna start off with a clean face. That's why I'm dry and ashy. But once you start off with your clean face, you go on with your primer. This is the primer. Oh no. The, this is the primer that I use by e.l.f. And you know, you get your little squirt on. You ain't see that. I don't need that much primer. I just got carried away. Y'all, I am tired. As you can see, I am rubbing it all over my face. I am trying to make sure I get every spot and I don't leave a spot. So I'm going to rub it in because when you put your makeup on, you want to make sure every spot on your face gets primer on it. Because the way that this primer works, it's like your makeup sticks to the primer. So if you don't have it in a certain spot, it's going to look different from the other side, which didn't have it. So that's why I'm rubbing it in and I'm going to go back in with a little bit more primer because I don't feel like I got this side enough. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I am trying to show you guys to see if you guys can see what it says on it. I like this foundation, you guys, because it's not too heavy on my skin and don't irritate my skin. I have very sensitive skin and my eczema on my skin, when I use certain makeup, it irritates my skin. So that's why I like this one. And my twin sister put me on to this one. But y'all, look at this. You see my face? I'm like, really, girl? You going to do this on camera? And I wasn't even supposed to put that much on. But since I was on the camera, I'm like, I don't feel like doing going all over it, taking some off, putting it in the container. So I just made sure I went on with my beauty blender. And I am dabbing it all over my face.
Now I'm done with my foundation. I'm going to use my concealer by e.l.f. And you guys, I learned this on TikTok. This is how they do theirs because they no longer do the triangle under the eye. And I was like, let me try this. I want to see if this is much better because they said this is a better way to put your concealer on. Y'all, I am not a makeup artist. This is how I do my makeup. Everybody does theirs a different way to each his own. This is how I do mine and I love it. Now I am going in with my CoverGirl Dark Shade Concealer. I am going to do the outlining of my nose. This part, y'all, I haven't mastered it or get it packed down, but this is how I see them, the girlies do it on TikTok. So I'm like, I must be doing it right, which I don't be doing it right, but I be feeling like I be doing it right. So just let your girl be great. I feel like I be doing something when I be doing it like the makeup girls. Now, as y'all can see, I'm trying to make sure I blend every little bit on my face that I don't see no spot. And I'm trying to make sure everything looks good because, you know, once you're recording, you're looking in the camera, you can't see certain spots. So you got to make sure you blend very well. But I am going in with my brown pencil. I am going to do the lining of my lip. Y'all, I still haven't mastered this neither, but this is the way I do mine. And I think it's so cute and it still come out nice. I don't like to do it too dark and I don't like to do it too light or thin, if that makes sense to you guys. But this is how I do my lips. Now I am going in with my favorite lip gloss. Y'all can see the brown um, 
the brown tip from my lining and y'all know i'll be killing this lip gloss i didn't want to put too much lip gloss and go too heavy on it because baby when i say i could put a lot of gloss on i make sure the lips is shining but i didn't want to do too much because i'm going in with my second lip gloss my pink shimmer lip gloss so that's what i'm going to be topping it off with and yeah Now I had to go up in the camera to show you guys how it look up close. Y'all, let me tell you, I forgot to put it on camera. Once I realized that I got dressed, I didn't put my setting spray on my face. But once I remember, I did. Y'all, I'm not a makeup artist, but tell me this don't look good. Your girl did her thing. It's a natural face without having too much makeup or chunks. But y'all, tell me that don't look cute yeah y'all know that's cute all right guys now that i'm done with my makeup i'm going to do my hair then i'm gonna get dressed yes because you guys we're going into 2023 and yes you guys we're gonna celebrate with our friends and family i'm gonna show you my outfit i can't guarantee y'all that i'm gonna record because when i drink I, I don't worry about putting the camera up in people's face i go to have a good time Half of the time, I don't even re record at night. I don't even record my outfit. If I don't take a picture at my house before I leave out, you might never see a photo of me because when I'm out, I don't do more photos. I mean, I don't do any photos. I will end up taking my photos at home because I know when I go out, I'm either have a stain on my shirt, I'm going to make a mess, or it's not going to work out how I want it to work out, so I'm going to take it at home. So when I do go out, I ain't got to worry about not having a picture or not seeing my outfit. But I'll be back. With the final results when when the, my uh when my hair is done when my outfit is on and you're gonna see the final results okay guys this is the final results i will be posting my picture right here right here because i tried to post my whole body i couldn't get my whole body on the camera hold on why is this So I'm going to be posting my photos right here so you guys can see it. I tried to post a video of my whole body, but my camera wasn't getting my whole body. So that's why I'm going to do a photo right here so you guys can see the final results. And yeah, you guys, if you see this video, happy New Year's. And if you don't see this video on New Year's, have a blessed one. I hope you guys get everything you asked for, success, positivity. Make sure y'all do what y'all want to do. Um, don't let nothing stop you. Just continue to keep growing, thrive, thriving. Just do you. If you want something, go for it. Don't stop. See me. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. I got like top five things I want to do. So I got to narrow it down to at least two because I want to keep myself busy. One is not going to be keeping me busy enough, so I'm going to do two. But you guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And I appreciate you guys. And yeah, we're out of here. Ooh, almost all this year. And we're out of here.